Slanigorids, I am Corvus Rochelugenikos and welcome again to the Nemeton. Today is another video for the Covid scriptures series. And I'm not really sure that I have named this series like this before, but it's gonna be named like this because that's better than texts or books or whatsoever. Scriptures. Like the Bible. So in this section in which I review books that I've read, I just wanted to review a book that I just finished reading. Yeah. So this is a review for the second installment in the Cotton Family series um, by Nicole Canfield and this second installment is called Hungry Spirits. Uh, the first one was Familiar Spirits and now this one is Hungry Spirits. This book was so much better. The first one was really good. I really liked it, but it had the problem that if you knew folklore and traditional witchcraft, it was kind of predictable in some sense. The thing is that this book wasn't predictable in that sense. Uh, many stories took a huge shift of events and new characters appeared, uh, old characters changed or suffered changes and many things I didn't see them coming. So in this book, as I said, we have new characters, we have a shift or, or a turn of events, uh, we have new surprises, we have new enemies, uh, new discoveries, and everything is so fucking cool. I enjoyed so much reading this book. Um, I enjoyed too much the magical realism. I enjoyed too much the surprises, I enjoyed too much the new storylines, etc. And there was moments in which my heart was racing like... wanted to know what uh, was going to happen. And I am very pleased with this book. I said sincerely, or as um, Stephen Amell would say, sincerely. It is one of the best witchcraft books that I've ever read and I like it because that's what I look in fiction. I look for fiction that is based on reality and reality can be either something real, something completely 100% real or a belief. I mean, you can make fiction of a belief that most people don't think is real but you know there are some people that believe in that and you can make fiction out of that and that's what I like to take a new turn to folklore, to mythology to um, belief systems, you know witchcraft, paganism, Shintoism, um, whatever so that's something that I love and it's something that people do very scarcely and very rarely is well done. In this case, it is done and it is well done. And I appreciate that, Nicole, because I really, really like this type of fiction. The positive things that it has is that these storylines are very enjoyable. Uh, some are very mysterious and unpredictable in this book. Um, the characters, some of them are fucking love. I fucking love the devil. And... If you enjoy magical realism or you're into witchcraft or magical or witchy stuff, this is one of the books of fiction that you have to buy because it rocks in that sense. Uh, Nicole Canfield is a pagan for Jews. She um, filmed videos for Judo talking paganism, historical witchcraft and other magical stuff. So she knows her shit, she knows what she's talking about in the books, she's not making up things, and this book is sometimes so real in the magical experiences 
or the magical troubles out of the body or the encounters with the devil that are quasi sabbatical that I sometimes was afraid like hey girl did you experience this yourself as negative points um, I guess I can only say that there are some typos in the way of writing I can't speak too much because I am not native to English but I can say that in some parts I was very confused because I wasn't sure which of the characters was speaking at the time like you see someone saw a dialogue and there are like two three four characters in the room and the only say that I can say is that Nicole sometimes seems to forget maybe it's on purpose but seems to forget to point out which character is speaking at that moment and I'm confused like who said this and the other thing that I can say that is kind of negative it's not negative it's something that I just don't enjoy that much any longer this pattern in fiction in which if you include magical characters at what point or at different points of the story development apparently all the characters even the ones that aren't related to you by blood or by any other means end up being magical and that's something that things should be you know, they should calm down a little. Not only Nicole, all fiction writers uh, or screenwriters too. Because that happens quite a lot and I'm not enjoying it anymore. I think we should start to mix human characters and supernatural characters quite much more than it's done to this point. Because in the end, most of them, if not all, end up being magical by whatever I mean, by discovering something in their family, by being turned into a supernatural creature, by learning some type of magical craft, and it's like, hey! The thing is that just few negative points that mostly aren't in the storylines or uh, the plot or whatsoever, many positive things, so fucking read this book if you already read the first book, Familiar Spirits, then get these fucking hungry spirits and fucking enjoy it. And if not, read the first book because it also rocks. Enjoy it if you're a witch, enjoy it if you're not a witch, and then read the second and wait for the third one. So I give this book a 9 out of 10 because, you know, it's not perfect, it has the typos, it has the thing that I say that sometimes it's confusing uh, to figure out what character is speaking at that moment. So yeah, 9 out of 10 just because of the story and the characters and the plot twists and the magical realism and the uh, British American witchcraft and all the sort of things. And yeah, and this is all for today. Um, please, I will leave the links to uh, Nic Nicole's uh, links on social media and stuff. Please enjoy it. You can get the book on Amazon. That's why I could get it because I'm in Spain. So Amazon sends worldwide without extra charges or, or anything. So if you can read English and you like Southern, folk Southern American folklore and British and European traditional witchcraft, please read this book and give some love to Nicole Canfield because she is an amazing writer in development, but an amazing writer. She did two amazing books as first novels. Uh, she also has a short novel, I think, but I wasn't able to read it. And if this is what she does first, I can't imagine what she will be able to do when uh, she get past the process of pointing out the mistakes and correcting them. This is amazing and I wish her the best. And she's also a fellow pagan, so 
give her some love for that too tell me what you think in the comments down below if you read any of the books like if you like the video don't dislike if not that's completely unnecessary and rude subscribe to keep updated and hit on the little bell to receive notifications of new videos with reviews on books tv series and other forms of fiction thanks for watching garbits you're all fucking amazing made it a way to another way watch over you all bye